truth is, I'm scared cause when I see you coming, all I want to do is tell you that I love you. I know you're better off without me cause your tears stain out, make it dark out when you're around me. Like a needle lost in the sand, the ink dried in my hand, it's unthinkable. Like a bird that never learned to fly, I shouldn't ask you to try. It's unthinkable, but I you was easy. See, when it was just you and me, since you wanna leave it, then I'll pick up the pieces. Yeah, you said. I'm out of second chances and I know that I'm not perfect and this probably sounds really selfish But I hate that I'm not with you I just wish that I could tell you that my this time is the truth I lost the trust I understand But do I have to be that man? It's unthinkable But I would like to say it's the next day, but it is not. It is actually, in fact, two days later. Because depression and anxiety caught up with me. I was playing hide and seek with it, but it found me. And mine, it just, it hit me so hard. I was like, oh, well, there, there, go, there goes that. Mm, it's been, it's been hard, really hard. You know what's funny, that's here around this time specifically it was May the 18th um I was working at this very stressful 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 place I actually ended up at the ER because I was having a panic attack that happened and last week I was having chest pain horrible chest pain and that also sent me to the ER because I thought I was having a panic like I thought I was having a heart attack it was not a heart attack it was actually anxiety it was too much I'm starting to think it was seasonal depression because it's, it happens every year in like May and I thought I was dealing with it I swear when this new year came I'm like I'm gonna take care of myself mentally emotionally I'm gonna be good I'm gonna be great when spring comes around Mm -mm. no it's been happening since the end of april i was just playing with it and now it got me and i'm like oof that's stronger than ever that's stronger than I, than I remember it honestly but i'm feeling much better today i mean last night and the night before i found myself quite quiet and i was staring at walls a lot i was just thinking a lot of thoughts that aren't usually what I would think of, if that makes sense. Usually, whenever those type of very unfortunate moments happen, whenever I feel like my mind is going way too fast and it's too loud, I know what to do. Like, I know what to do. I know where to go to just escape, right? I mean, you can't really escape your mind, but it's, there's usually something that I can do. Not this time. It is not. Um, it, just, it was loud my chest was hurt my heart was going too fast my mind was too noisy and loud and just too much was going on to a point where literally this is the only book i've been reading and it's the 14 if i'm if i'm correct it's the 14th of me and i've started this book twice already and i just cannot get into it and i've started another book but i just can't get into any book because i cannot escape the craziness and the unfortunate events that's going in through my mind. I don't even know why I'm saying all of that. I probably won't even put it in. <laughs> because why? Um, but yeah, take care of yourself. If I do end up putting this in, take care of yourself. It is, you know, it's unfortunate because it's spring and it's beautiful outside. 
and the flowers are blooming and it's going to be summer it's florida so it's hot but it's a comfortable hat <laughs> and i just don't want to go outside i just want to be in my bed caught it up with my husband and i can't <laughs> i'm just like mm. i'm annoyed because unfortunately i just i just learned that one of the system with depression and anxiety it's like you get annoyed easily like you any, anything could just irritate irritate the heck out of you and that's what's happening to me and i'm just like i don't know how to stop this but let's go i have a book haul <laughs> very small book haul and is that small it is it's like i think eight or ten books i'm not quite sure but yeah it's, i'm excited because books makes me happy and i'm happy but i went to sephora i went to sephora and i didn't even open any of it which i was happy to but i didn't and i got my favorite scent right now usually i stick to sol de genero bum bum cream but i tried this one and ever since it's just been my favorite scent and especially now it's spring it just makes me feel like a pretty princess running through a rose garden a rose field i'm just like that smells so good so i went and i got it and to match with that i got the the body spray and then shampoos because i want to wash my full locks um but yeah that's what i got in sephora but books let's talk about things that makes me happy so i talked about better than movies um this is my second time restarting it but so far, I'm actually starting to get into the story. And it is a good story. It's YA. I like YA. And Lee's, it's adorable. Wes, it's also adorable. So I'm just like, I should finish it. Like, I'm trying to finish it today. It's, it's nice. I saw a TikTok talking about like how he has Taylor Swift references. And I was just like, I, I'm not going to get into it. Because I've been listening to Taylor Swift albums. And I'm like, let's get into it. This is going to be good. So I've been reading this a lot like i said a lot <laughs> and i'm enjoying it so far because i was reading better than movies i went to target to get do the, the do over however i saw this one specifically and i read the synopsis and he just it piqued my interest more and i'm just like well i'll come back for you <laughs> and i got this one and then uh practice makes perfect i was just like i've been waiting to read this so let me get it because i i read another book by sarah adams it was the cheat sheets if i'm not mistaken the cheat sheets i really enjoy that one and so i'm just like you know what let me pick this one up i might enjoy it but yeah i got practice mix perfect and i got i want to make sense to get that because i've been playing that and i got fantasy books if you know anything about me you probably don't but i don't read fantasy i just cannot I never could get into it however I'm in my fantasy era because I want to start reading fantasy it looks good over there every time I see a girl and every time I see anyone talks about fantasy books they just have a beautiful glow and I'm just like I want to be in the world of fantasy I want to be in the world of magic so I got these books the first one that I got is once upon a broken heart by Stephanie Gabber look at the covers for gold and I open it look how beautiful that is I'm gonna start reading fantasy book I think next week or something I'm just gonna read it for like a week straight that's a nice video I should do that subscribe if you want to see that I went on TikTok and I searched fantasy book for beginners and this one and the second one the, the ballad of never after these babies just keep coming up and i'm just like you know what maybe i should get it and i've heard a lot of positive reviews about it like high reviews and i'm just like i'm gonna get it and the synopsis is quite interesting it's evangeline fox has always believed in she loved and happy ending until she learns that the love of her life will marry another Desperate to stop the wedding, Evangeline strikes to deal with the charismatic and mortal Prince of Heart, but but she soon discovers that bargaining with the Prince of Heart is a dangerous game. He has planned for Evangeline, plans that will either end in the greatest happily ever after or in tragedy. I was like, now this piques my interest. I'm like, okay, let's get it. This is my my first time reading from this book. Not my first time. I read Legendborn. I just I don't I didn't finish it. <laughs> I got lost. I got lost. It was a very long, thick book. I got lost. However, I'm gonna start with this and maybe 
I'll get into the fantasy world and revisit Legend Born. But yes, I got this one and I got the second one of this. This is the Ballad of Never After. The second one in the series. This is a series. So usually I do not get um, a series like the first and the second. However, I'm told that this one end on a cliffhanger and mm -mm, I don't like that. <laughs> I can't. I'm just like, well, why do you have, what if I ended up loving this and I don't know what happened? I might as well just get the two. If I don't like it, it will just be here. It's okay. I have nephews and niece. They could get it. However, <laughs> I just don't want a book where I don't know what happened. Like, it's like a cliffhanger. That's just not good for me. It's not good for me at all. I want to know what happened. The second one that I got is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. Um, don't really know a lot about this. However, I've heard good reviews. This is why I got it. And also, a lot of people just like, if you want something easy to read and f something to get you into fantasy, get this one and I'm just like okay well this is good I'm told that this is um dark romance where the villain gets the girl and I'm just like okay let's go let's do this I like it I like I really like the cover and then mistakenly when I went to Barnes and Noble I got this one because I thought this says rose it did not <laughs> we were in a hurry and we were about to close and we walked in I literally grabbed um once a bit of time of a broken heart and I just grabbed this because I'm just like oh it's 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 red I was just like oh it's a pink book it's thick and it's by Sarah J Mass it was red the first one was red but I got this one and then when I got home I'm just like I don't think this is the first and I switched it up this is the third book <laughs> like it's the third book I'm just like oh well it's fine it's okay you like I said again I never get the books like I always read the first one and see if I like it and then go buy the rest of the series but I already have this one so I'm just like well there you go um, we are now going to unbox these little babies um, the first one this is the first one that's the first that's that <laughs> that's the first one um, of this one that's the first one but a court of thorn and roses when I tell you I don't know anything about it I'm just told that is, I just know that it's one of the most talked about fantasy book on TikTok, on BookTube, and on Instagram. And I'm just like, you know what? If the whole world seems to like it, I'm hoping that I like this one. And it's, I'm, it's shockingly not big. You know, it's quite small because this one, I was quite scared because it's thick. <laughs> and I'm like, this is going to take me forever to read. And it's fantasy. I'm like, this is going to be... A whole month for me because I could never get into finish a book. However, look how small this is. Huh. Interesting. So I can finish this in a day or two. Oh, the second one. I know. I know what I just said. I never get the series. However, my husband got this for me. <laughs> it's the second one of Hooked. I just realized all fantasy books are series. They're all series. Why is that? Can they just... I guess the, the, the story never ends, right? But I got the first one and the second one. I'm happy. That makes me happy. Okay. Ah! <coughs> the Long Way Home, Magnolia Parks. I read the first one and I read Dizzy Hates and I just... I love this universe. I love that universe so much. And I kid you not, I did not think I was going to like it at all whatsoever. I was just like, I'm not going to like it. I'm not. But when I told you I love that book in this age, I was like, oh my god. And so I got the third one for the mess, for the craziness. I am BJ and Magnolia Park. They need help. They need therapy. But I'm just like, I want to know what happened. I truly want to know what happened. Plus, I saw this video of this girl just going insane for this book. She was like, this was her favorite one. That the first one wasn't her favorite. She was like, this one actually just put things in perspective this was great and i'm like okay let's do it plus look at the beautiful cover i just i'm gonna love it i'm going to love it i just know i'm gonna love it and then <laughs> there's two comics books for my husband who love his comics and i'm going to read it also because it's black panther plus I like I like comics books. Makes me happy. And they're quite easy to read. And then and the last one that I got is this one. Funny you should ask. I think I saw a couple of people read this book and they all said really positive things about it. But there was a doggy 
on the cover. That's what told me. It was not all of the positive. It was dark. <laughs> oh, man, I saw the pretty cover. I like the pretty cover. Um, yeah, I don't really know a lot about it. I could just read the back. I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> I relate to <laughs> Yeah, funny you should ask. And I hope I like it. All the books that I got and I'm quite excited to read. Like I said, um, I started this one. Hopefully I can finish it later. I don't really know what I'm doing today. I know I want to take today calm and easy. I want it to be a very easy and calm resting day. Um, however, I know one of the things that I want to try to do is to fix my bookshelves. Because my books are everywhere. Some of them are in the room. Some of them are on the floor in the room. Some of them are in my closet. They're just there. And I'm just like, this is, it's getting out of hand. It's because I have only one bookshelf and a book cart. And I don't want to buy another bookshelf. So every time I buy new books, I just put them, I stack them up on top of each other in a corner somewhere. Um, <laughs> but the bookshelf is getting out of control. It's not organized. It's just not pretty. And I'm just like, you know what? I want to try it. The book cart, everything is on top of each other. I'm just like let's try this let's try to fix it um yeah but i have not baked in forever i kind of want to bake something today and i have not paint i also want to paint i haven't painted in a while to a point where i'm actually really bad at painting but it used to bring me some sort of calmness and happiness so yeah i kind of want to paint something I'm really bad at it i'm really bad at it <laughs> i want to paint something i want to bake something try to finish this book and yeah maybe fix my bookshelf we'll see yeah but that's all i got i'm so excited to read these stories especially the fantasy books because i'm like i've never been a fantasy girl so Fresh cut 